Hey guys, what is up? My name is Landon and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So today I have another unboxing for you guys, which I'm pretty excited about. This is a jersey that I've wanted for a little while here and I just never kind of got. It's not like it's a particularly difficult jersey to find, but I just never actually purchased it. So I am glad that I finally have it in my collection here. And like I was talking about in my last unboxing, the Seattle unboxing, I'm fairly close to 200 jerseys here. I just recently sold two jerseys. So this jersey here will be my 196 jersey in my collection. And I actually have two others here to unbox as well that I'll be doing in another video and I still have another one on the way. So I have purchased all the way up to my 199th jersey in my collection. So my next jersey that I am going to buy, it's going to be that number 200, which I'm very, very excited about. I still quite haven't decided on what jersey I want to buy yet, but I am very much looking forward to it. But with that out of the way, let's unbox this jersey here and show you guys what it is. It was a little bit of a small package, so the logo is kind of folded a little bit, but it doesn't look too bad. It looks like it's in pretty decent shape. But anyways, let's go ahead and show you guys the jersey that I got. So it is the Buffalo Sabres goat head jersey, which I'm very, very happy to finally have in my collection. I do have the white version of this in my collection already. I've had that one for quite a while now, and I just never really got this darker version. I don't really know why. I think it was always just a little bit more than I actually wanted to spend on this jersey here. Not like they were particularly expensive, but like they were just a little bit more than I wanted to spend. With this jersey here, it was only $50 Canadian. So I was like, you know what? I'll buy that one. That's pretty cheap, so I'm glad to finally get this jersey. Now, this jersey here, as you guys can see, it is a pro player, which is, I think I only have one other pro player in my collection, and I find that they do run a little bit small, I will say that. Although, that being said, I actually kind of prefer that because I'm pretty short, but it's the arms that I really don't like. I find them to be quite small, so that's why I'm not a huge fan of these pro players. That being said, I'm kind of hating on the pro player, but I actually don't think it's that bad of a jersey, or that bad of a brand, I should say. The jersey itself, like I said, I really like a lot. I probably would have preferred it in a CCM, but I'm fine with getting it in a pro player. That being said, I do really like that the Eastern Conference is in the bottom half of the jersey here or the bottom right of this jersey here. I do like that aspect of pro player jerseys. I think that's a lot of fun. And I do also really like the shoulder patches here, that buffalo with a saber going through. I think that's a lot of fun. And I mean, the goat head is like one of the best buffalo logos that they've ever had, or I would probably say it's the best. Yeah, it's probably the best buffalo logo that they've had. So I'm very, very happy to finally get this jersey in my collection here. The striping is really cool as well. I'm just really excited to have this. So yeah, this is number 196 in my collection. Very, very excited to have this jersey finally. And like I said, I got two more jerseys to unbox after this video here. So I'm going to do that right away. I'll probably upload that video in the coming days. And I do still have one more jersey on the way. That one I'm very, very excited to have. It's one that I've wanted for such a long time. And I really didn't think I was going to get it for so long because it's so hard to find. And when you do find it, it's really, really expensive. So I'm glad to finally have it. I found it at a decent price. Still wasn't super cheap, but I was okay with paying the price that I did. Anyways, that is going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel, but also make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at the Jersey Zone YT on Instagram and at the Jersey Zone on Twitter. Links are in the description down below. But like I said, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.